I'm joined by the star senior guard for the Houston Cougars, a preseason All-American, one of the best players in college basketball, Marcus Sasser. Thank you for taking the time to talk with me, Marcus. How are you doing today, man? Doing good. Appreciate you for having me. Of course, man. We're glad to have you. You're, you know, you're one of the best players on the team, and it's an honor to speak with you. And you know, in your rematch versus Temple last night, the Cougars were able to get the win, 85, uh, 81 to 65, and um, guys were able to outscore them by 16. And what do you think changed in the second half? I mean, 48 to 28, the Cougars were able to outscore Temple. Um, what changed? Um, we really just, you know tried to play with more energy, you know, the second half. Um, they did a good job um, on the glass. You know, we was getting out rebounded at first, and then Jawan and Jamal was in foul trouble the first half. So, really, when they came came in the second half, you know, we tried to use them as much um, to our advantage to get us going. And um, I think we did a good job just getting stops, getting out in transition, and getting easy buckets, really, in the second half. Yeah, that's really what it's all about. And, you know, you had 13 points, five assists, one rebound. I would say, a, you know, a more so well-rounded performance from you. And, you know, I want to hear a little bit about your uh, childhood. Was there an idol that you had, someone that you modeled your game after? Um, when I was young, you know, I used to always watch Chris Paul, yeah. you know, as a point guard. But then as I got older, um, I started liking LeBron more. Um, just the way he carried himself off the court and on the court, the way he's a leader, um, the way he's able to take over a game. And just him just being a good role model. So that's who I really looked up to as I got older. Oh, yeah, for sure. Those two are really great players. And um, did you always want to be a basketball player growing up? Uh, yeah, um, I was I was in football and basketball yeah. at first. But when I got to high school, you know, I just put my focus on basketball because the football boys started getting too big for me. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's awesome, man. And do you have a favorite NBA team? Um, just really wherever LeBron was at. But okay. right now, I don't have one. No, not no. no more. All right, man, that's cool. And I know your uncle Jason. Uh, he was your high school coach in Red Oak. So how do you say he impacted your life? Um, just really pushing me every day. You know, I was with him every day in high school for my junior and senior year. Yeah. So, you know, just the days, you know, where I really didn't want to practice or something like that, you know, he would get on me and just tell me this was what separates, you know, the good people from the great people. And um, just him making it to that level, you know, he knew what it took. So just him giving me little tips here and there um, and just really just pushing me because – if you, I feel like if I had a regular high school coach or something like that, they'd just let me, you know, do whatever or something like that. But I feel like because he was my – he knew what it took and stuff like that, he really pushed me to where I really needed to be. Yeah, for sure, man. That's really, really great. And um, what would you say, what experiences did you have in childhood that you think, I guess, helped you become the, the man that you are right now? Um, just being – all my family being competitors, um, being a middle child. You know, I always had a big brother who used to – push me around and stuff like that when I was younger. So I felt like he did a good job, you know, toughening me up. And then just always been wanting, wanting to win, really. You know, mm -hmm. all the family um, events and things like that, you know, we hated to lose. So yeah. I felt like that just really gave me the competitive edge. Um, and then I just carried it over to the court, you know. I never wanted to lose. So just being a winner and a competitor, I feel like that I always – take you far um, in sports. Yeah, for sure. You definitely want to be a really good competitor. And uh, how do you think this, uh, the UH basketball program, as, as you know, your time here, how do you think it's gotten really better? Um, just, I feel like the coaching staff always, you know, just putting in multiple hours with us every day, countless hours. Um, they really care about us. And I feel like since my freshman year, you know, you just can see the development mm -hmm. between each player because, you know, the um, way they love us and the way they just care for us. and. You know, they'll put in so much time with us on the court, but they also care about you off the court. So I feel like not only does it help you become a better basketball player, but they also, you know, groom you into a better man um, while you being here. So that's why, you know, I, I'm i glad that I picked this program because I feel like it helped me become a better, better basketball player and a better man also. Yeah, we're glad that you're here, man. And I totally agree about the coaching staff. And Coach Sampson, he's really re highly regarded here in basketball. So I want to hear what, what do you think stands out about his approach and the way he coaches? Um, it's not, you know, it's not – you got to be mentally tough to play for him because, um, you know, he going he gonna to make sure you get the lesson, but it might not be nice. You know, it might not be, you know, soft-spoken or something like that. Um, it just – but he always – he just wants the best for you, really. So, um, really, you just got to take it, what he's saying, um, put it into use, and you will see, you know, the outcome, like, later, you know. Even today as a senior, you know, I look back at my freshman year and I'm um, like, dang, I'm really I'm really glad, you know, he did that because yeah. I feel like if I didn't go through that, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So, um, 
you might not realize it in the moment, you know, like what he doing, you might be mad or sad or, or down on yourself, but at the end of the day, he just want the best for you and he knows what he doing. So I always thank him for that, for sure. That's really awesome, man. And, you know, you were, um, you're on the John Wooden Award midseason top 25 watch list. And I saw the Houston Sports Award, you're honored as a Houston's best college athlete. So, I mean, you see these accomplishments that you've had. I mean, what's your reaction to it? I'm just really blessed. Um, I feel like this just shows you how hard work really can pay off. Um, you know, them, like, just little awards, I feel like you can go farther. You know, I use them as motivation, really, you know, because the more awards you win and stuff like that, I feel like the harder it is because, um, you know, you got people looking at that and people coming at you every night. So you're going to get the best from somebody every night. So that should just motivate you to go get better. Yeah, for sure. That's a great message, man. And, um, you know, what what is some stuff in your in your game that you've been trying to improve at or something that you think it needs work right now? Um, just my, you know, playmaking ability, um, being able to hit the roller, rebounding, just really being an all-around guard, you know. Um, I feel like I'm a natural scorer, so, you know, I just want to show people I can do more to my game than just score the ball because um, a lot of people can score the ball. You know, I don't want to be just like a scoring guard. I want to be like – a good guard on both ends of the ball. Yeah, I really like that mindset, man. You you know, you have a lot of great skills. Um, you know, whether that's, you know, your dribbling, your handles, uh, your step back three is really, really good. And, you know, from the top of the key. And I think you hold your own defensively as well um, with, with, with the steals. And, you you know, you've had, a, you mentioned you're a really great shooter, five out of eight from three in the final four with 20 points. And um, would you say that being a good shooter has always been easy to you? Has it always been like that for you? Um, yeah, you know, since I was a kid, you know, that's really all we used to do um, in my family. I feel like that was the first, uh, the second thing that I was really taught in basketball. Um, first was dribbling mm -hmm. and second was shooting. And, you know, um, they always used to tell me you can't never shoot too much. So, you know, yeah. that's one thing I always took to heart. So when I, you know, go work out or something, I always used to just shoot multiple, multiple shots and game shots. And then um, it's like muscle memory, you know, when you're shooting the ball. So, um, yeah, I feel like I was really born with shooting because almost everybody in my family can shoot, so yeah. Yeah, that's really, really awesome, and you're really good at what you do. 16 points per game this season, three assists, three rebounds, two steals, and you're shooting 37% on three and 83% from the free throw line. And, you know, you have the U8 single game record at for, for three-point percentage in a game at 78%, so um, it's, it's really amazing what you do. And I know in your junior year you had that left foot injury that sidelined you. Um, how would you say, what would you say you learned from that whole experience? Um, just becoming a better leader, um, as in, you know, seeing the, seeing the floor from a different perspective, you know. Um, not being on the court, it really, you know, showed me a lot of things, you know. When I get back on the court, I can change because, you know, mm -hmm. looking at it and playing in the game is two different things. So just being sideline, watching them, um, I feel like it also helped me become a leader, like I said, because, you know, I couldn't really show them. I feel like. Myself, I'm a um, leader by example, but um, I couldn't lead by example, so I had to lead by, you know, being vocal and stuff like that, and I feel like that was one of my leadership qualities that I, that I was working on, so I feel like that kind of helped me while I was being sidelined because I had to actually talk and um, tell people, you know, what I seen that could help them from the sideline. That was one of the things I did when um, they made that tournament run to the Elite Eight. You know, I feel like I, me and Tremont, we was – kind of like coaches on the mm -hmm. sideline. So that being hurt kind of helped me um, become a better leader vocally. Yeah, I like how you really use that situation to help benefit another part of your game. And I know that I'm sure you have a lot of best friends on this team. Obviously, everybody on the team is like your guy. But um, who are the guys that I guess you like to hang out with a lot? Um, we all hang out together. Yeah. But I'll say probably me, Tremon, Jamal, um, Jairus, and Juan. Really like the starting five. We, yeah. We hang out the most, probably, I'd say. Yeah, that's awesome, man. And um, do you have any hobbies, interests outside of basketball? Uh, just listen to music. I play the game, PS5, 2K, man. No, that's that's awesome. really it, yeah. What do you listen to? Uh, I listen to all type of stuff. I listen to slow music, yeah. rap. Uh, I don't listen to jazz or country yeah. and nothing like that, but slow music and rap, that's really what I normally yeah. listen to. Yeah, for sure. That's cool, man. And how do you, what's a typical day in your life, man? Like, what's what's the schedule for you outside of game days? Um, wake up, come, come here probably. Um, lift weights. Um, go shoot for a little bit. Yeah. Then probably go get recovery. You know, um, getting a cold tub, the normal text, something like that. Go eat, 
if I have homework, I'll probably do some homework, and then I'll come back up here, um, shoot again, work out, um, rehab again, and then call it a day. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's a really busy day, but, you know, you handle it really well, man. Uh, what, I know you're from the Red Oak and from, like, the Dallas area, so what do you like about Houston, man? Um, I'll probably just say, you know, the networking. I feel like it's a lot of people out here you can really network with. Um, mm -hmm. Cause a lot of people actually come down to Houston for different things, but then I'd probably say they food. They got real good food down here in Houston. Yeah, for sure. That's one of the highlights here. And, you know, moving forward, I know you have a lot of goals in mind, but that you want to achieve. I know you're majoring in health promotions, right? Is that correct? Yeah. So I guess what's the plan forward for you after UH? age? Um, if I'm blessed, you know, try to make it to the NBA, yeah. um, keep that career going, but no matter what it is, you know, I just love basketball, so I'm going to try to stay in the basketball, you know, part of the game, really. Yeah, for sure. That's a great plan, and, you know, you're really talented. I'm sure you're going to make it to NBA. I'm a huge fan of what you do, man. So, you know, I appreciate the time. Congrats on all your success so far, and I just want to say that we're all pulling for your success here at UH and, you know, h Town. so just keep making us proud, man. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. Yeah, yes, sir. Great to see you, man. Appreciate you. Yeah, thank you, man. Yes, sir.